Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord's Week at Christ's Life. So we pray, lead us not into temptation, but it doesn't go away. And it doesn't go away. And it doesn't go away. And sometimes it really feels like we just cannot for the life of us escape what we know full well to be wrong. And it leaves us in a really dark place where we sometimes even start to question our faith itself. If I was really a Christian, would I wrestle so hard with this? Would I fail so often with this because we really, really do love to measure our faith by our our works and our feelings, whereas God would have us measure our faith by our baptism, by, by God who would work for us, not we who would work for God. It's very much that way when we wrestle with temptation. We have to deal with the temptations that we feel in light of what he says about who you are in Christ. You are holy. For he has made you that way. He washed you in the waters of baptism and made you holy. That doesn't make the temptations that you feel good, and it also doesn't make them just up and disappear. But it does let us confront what we do feel and know to be wrong in light of what God would say about us. And the very thing is, if it bothers you that much that you are being tempted, that, that's kind of a sign of faith. In the large catechism, Luther writes, But such feeling, as long as it is against our will, and we would rather be wi- rid of it, can harm no one. For if we did not feel it, it could not be called temptation. But to consent thereto is when we give it the reins and do not resist or pray against it. See, it's when the temptation no longer bothers you that it's a bad sign. It's when you would no longer call what you do or or feel wrong, no matter what God would say about it or who it might hurt. That's, That's a bad sign. But that we actually do struggle with temptation is simply a recognition that we live in a sinful world. In, we have sinful flesh, and the devil is a real creature, and so we pray, lead us not into temptation. But we find our peace not in never experiencing a struggle against temptation, but in knowing that in that struggle, God has already made you holy in the waters of your baptism. He has already given you the victory in Christ who is crucified and risen from the dead for you. The peace is knowing that even if you feel like you are losing every single day, God would forgive you every single day, that you are more than your base urges because, well, God has made you that and uniting you to Christ who has risen from the dead, that it bothers you so much in the first place to struggle with temptation. That's a great sign. That's due to the faith which God has given you, even in the midst of temptation, that would cling to Jesus Christ and him alone for hope and for righteousness. Temptation is a really, really frustrating thing. But Christ is our peace even when we struggle and especially when we fail because the victory lies in him and not in us. When we pray, lead us not into temptation, it's not that we would never feel it. It's that we would have an identity outside of our struggles and failures. We have an identity in the waters of baptism. We have an identity in Christ so that we would be brought through temptation by faith alone, by Christ alone.